So you join me here in Kennebunk, Maine, or at least on the service plaza off the I-95 to take a look at these new ChargePoint Express Plus stations. First place I've seen them installed, at least in our area, and kind of the next step up in terms of power from the CPE 250s, which are right next to them. So we'll uh, go over there now, plug in, and see what we're going to get for charging at these ChargePoint Express Plus stations. Let's go. This might not actually be commissioned yet. Looks like you've got service codes. Interesting. It says plug in. Fired up. All right. No. Do not stop charging and keep charging. Charge on. Maybe the car will tell me. Okay, 140 to start off with. Should really fire up Torque Pro as well. But, uh, oh, stopped. Let's see, these could be interesting because they are just online and uh, not entirely sure how well commissioned they've been at this point, but let's... Okay, so I switched over. That one, uh, first or second station, I guess, has a uh, service code on it. Looks like it might still have some commissioning work to do. Those ones look online, I will check them out, but they have been in for a while, so I would guess they're working fine. The two CPE 250s, not paired, I don't think. Talk more about that later. But this one ramped up to about 142, 143 kilowatts now. Nothing super special. These are uh, modular power. They can be ramped up to 350 kilowatts with the various modules that can be inserted, but obviously that depends on the site and uh, what's available, and they may downgrade them a little bit, um, but uh, we might have a conversation there about what the expected power is versus... So there's a few things to note about these ChargePoint Express Plus units. They are modular in design, so they have uh, power blocks inside that are all up to 40 kilowatts each. So you can have up to five inside the station or externally, mostly I think they're supposed to be inside the uh, unit itself and that obviously adds up to uh, 200 kilowatts. In this case I believe that means there were four in these stations up in Maine because the maximum power that it said on the display there was 160 kilowatts and that kind of tallied up with what we got through this charge session as you'll see. Now they can be paired together as with the uh, CPE 250s which will be 62.5 times 2 so a maximum of uh, 125 kilowatts. Um, with the ChargePoint Express Plus uh, that should be if you add the 200 plus 200 that's 400 kilowatts but on the uh, site from ChargePoint up to 350 kilowatts if the setup is correct. So obviously in this case they did not do that. It looks like each individual station is going to deliver up to 160 kilowatts, which puts them on a par with your uh, Common or Garden Electrify America site, which is around 150 kilowatts. Plus they then have the other two uh, CPE 250s, which are both 62.5 kilowatts. So you do have that uh, different level, as you'll see on the uh, charge session here. We had a Mini Cooper SE pull in beside us. That's uh, capable of up to 50 kilowatts, so it was perfect matched for the uh, CPE 250s. That's pushing up to 145 kilowatts. Just topping out around 200 amps and 727 volts at 24%. Battery temperature's fine, right in the sweet spot at the moment. It's one of those kind of bright sunshine full days, 65 degrees Fahrenheit ambient. So we're good on the uh, max and min there for a good little while, and this power level shouldn't push it too hard. It's uh, not so hard on the temperature and the battery pack when you are on those 150 kilowatts rather than like a 350 capable. But let's let that continue a little bit and we will get out and look around the site. Then 40 cents a kilowatt hour at the level two if you happen to 
only have that option. It's only 6.1 kilowatts, so not super fast. And then if you somehow fully charge and leave it for more than 20 minutes, you'll be on $10 an hour fee. So that's not fun. Price set by EVSP Express Plus Group Corridor. No idea who that is. But two CPE 250s, 42 cents a kilowatt hour. Really want to mess with the minis charging, but uh, let's see. 65% charging at 46.6 kilowatts, so that'll max that out pretty much. And then you have these guys, which this has this weird service code filler in it. Don't know what's going on with the service code there. But coming up on 40 kilowatt hours, I should probably unplug because that's getting quite pricey now. All right, let's stop it. It's got up to 153. Still fairly quick, even at not maximum speed. 17 minutes got us 15 to 61 percent there. Same overcharge, stay, overstay fee, $10 an hour after 20 minutes, maximum of 50 bucks. Touch screen's not great. Pretty standard stuff. Only a small light. You got this tiny one up here versus the big, clear, blue and busy or in use sign on this one, and the big, clear green strip. So it's not quite as good. Not sure why they went with that, but this does have pretty nice retractable cable that'll move around. It's got a double swing arm. You could fit a Chadamo, they haven't, or a CCS, another second one. That doesn't seem to retract. You can move it around a little bit. It's hard to tell really what that does for you. I guess it's a ball joint, so it'll swing and this will come out. You might get round to the front of a car. Let's see, we were parked awkwardly. So, not really, it's a little bit awkward. So I don't know how much I like that. That's not as good as the new EA ones, I don't think. I'm not gonna get much. So it's not all that special, to be honest. So nothing extra is coming out. You got the swing arm to help you out a little bit. That's gonna collect water, as you can see. Well, it's got some give to it, but still backing into these spaces. Awkward little thing to see here. It says charge point, model number, serial number, maximum 200 amps, 480 volts, minus 40 degrees C to plus 50. So you're good. Made in the USA, baby. Compare that to this, which was a pretty nice swing out reach. And then these aren't on a rotator joint, but that'll get you a good distance. Not sure there's really much difference, to be honest, between that one and this newer one. But hey, there you are. 
So not that special in the end, they're actually really limited to 160 kilowatts and nothing paired up there. So you're not getting any uh, kind of power really that you wouldn't get at a regular Electrify America 150 kilowatt station, which is pretty much all of them. Um, but you know, nice to have. It's interesting to see them alongside the CPE 250s, which are always rock solid for us. Um, cable management looks a bit kind of limited, especially compared to the new ones that uh, Electrify America is installing, where you'll get that big five, six foot reach, which goes all around the car. You know, interesting to test them out, see them, and uh, compare to the latest uh, hardware that Electrify America is adding with those fourth gen BTC power and Signet units. Uh, have you had a chance to try these stations, the new ChargePoint Express Plus? Uh, how has your experience with ChargePoint been in general? Uh, let us know down in the comments, and uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.